Let's look at how cryptography is actually used. It can be used in many different ways, but one of the more common uses of cryptography in day-to-day -day usage is through the use of email. Now, emails, as we all know, you type in whatever text you want and you may have some attachments and it's packaged up and sent to the recipient, but it doesn't go directly there in most cases. Especially if you're sending an email to someone across the internet, your message may go through many servers and those servers very likely are not within your own organization. So, encryption gives us the ability to make the message only readable by the person that you intend to receive it. And all the servers in between can't see what's in the message. So it's a great way of keeping confidential information confidential. In order to get there, there are several different protocols and standards which have emerged. One example is Pretty Good Privacy, or PGP. Written by Phil Zimmerman, it's a nice add-in to most email clients that give us the ability to almost transparently encrypt messages for a certain target or certain group of targets so that only the recipients can read the email. Another example would be SMIME, or Secure Multipurpose Internet Mail Extension. It's just another way of encrypting emails for intended targets. For the internet connection level or layer, IPsec is gaining a lot of popularity as being an administrative or an environmental wide approach to securing connections between internet clients and servers to give us that additional layer of security. In fact, uh, there are diff several different modes we can use in IPsec, one of which is a tunneling mode that allows us to encrypt everything that goes back and forth. And last but not least, another protocol that has uh, gained a lot of popularity is SSL or TLS. SSL for Secure Socket Layer has been around for quite a while and it's commonly used to secure channels or secure endpoint to endpoint communication commonly used for web applications. Now SSL has gone through several different versions and the latest version or the replacement for SSL is TLS, Transport Layer Security. Very common approach to securing point to point. Again, as I mentioned, it may be web client to web server, but we also use SSL or TLS on the back end, let's say from web server to database server. So lots of good examples of how we can create little tunnels of encrypted information. Those are some examples of how cryptography is used in day-to-day -day operations.